against um, Melbourne? Yep. Yep, no. Um, so, plenty of experience, Josh Bill, the man with a whistle today. Yeah, I can't see. Uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing much going too wrong with old, uh, Josh, Josh taking the whistle today. So, Hotop will be kicking off naturally uh, left to right. Paul's bits of bounce there, Dino. Uh, <laughs> yeah, great long breaking kick, but uh, it sort of stayed in, in field and uh, back to halfway. So the scrum halfway. Looking pretty solid, both teams. So who's got the edge? Yeah, got a couple of players out to uh, watch for, of course. Uh, John Armstrong there for Hotapu. Uh, he knows the, the half-back position quite well. Yeah, so... Uh, solid scrum Coming in, clear it. Come down the bronze side. Okay. What's the Offside. Got a call from his touchy. Hotel Patui going to come on the offside position. So. Offside, have tapping. Give him to the limit, please. Lebanon's kick to the touch run. And uh, I understand there's um, a bit of a shout out to my daughter who's watching this all the way in the UK. She just texted me, so Kia, good to see you watching the uh, early morning the, start, the Battle of the Bridge. Off the top. Thanks, Matthew. Putting some body on the line there. And there's an injured player down already in the blue and white. Oh, we've got an injury straight away. That is good in the stand. It's going to look pretty fierce. There's some, some big hits going on. There's some stuffy, you know, really won in the game. But uh, uh, just, just talking about injuries, these guys have been excited to, to play this one-off match um, in the, uh, uh, the Battle of Bread. So uh, whoever that may be, hopefully nothing too serious. Um, just had a screw up back from my technical support person from uh, Nelson. Uh, not a good start early on in the Mighty 10 Cup match uh, after David Harvey took an intercept try, ran about 80 metres. 8 0 after about as many minutes um, against uh, Tasman playing Wakato down there. Uh, uh. So, um, early, early, early stages though, Dino. I'm sure our boys could pull it back. Uh, early, early days. Early days, early days. False, false. Get in the coverage. Turn it off. <laughs> just a quick shout out, uh, just on the uh, Limited uh, Hat Tap and Nipple results. Uh, I only know one, one myself, but Limited uh, took out uh, one of the games. And uh, very good fashion, must say. So, uh, so um, I just, like the first thing they played in Just uh, the announcement on the uh, on down, the ground, uh, 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 on the netball match uh, between uh, the two uh, clubs uh, and the rivalry uh, battle of Bridge Netball. Uh, so uh, it looks like Leamington are taking the trophy on that one there. So um, um, I'm not too sure how physical that one would have been compared to the game we've just seen and about to see now. So uh, congratulations, not many hits. Not many hits. <laughs> Too many contacts, but uh, congratulations to uh, to Limited for taking out the uh, Battle of Bridge Nipple 2020. You you copy uh, our team have done too bad this season, have they? They've taken out the uh, rugby yeah, yeah, and the Premier as well. Premier Nipple, yeah. So uh, it's actually really good to be able to live stream and commentate both of those finals. Well, you you both have moved to Cambridge. You're over here a lot. There you go. Limited, Limited scrum down feed. Good carry there by the blue and whites. Looking good this uh, Leamington side. Nice play, clear the right. Nice and easy for the ball quickly. 
First down, Wadey takes it up. Runs into somebody. Leventon getting over that gain line. A slow ball, not that they don't want it. Some big ball carriers. We've just got his arm out, playing advantage. Defense is out there, That's great pick up. Can I recycle it? Making a few more yards there. That's the one, pick and go. Pick and go. Another pick and go, here we go. Could be a theme here with this big four pick. Another pick and go. This is Slowing it down and going for another pick and go, or is he just looking to go blind? Takes it to the open. When he takes it up, first receiver. He's got to miss the ball on him. Referee, got Bull's got his arm out. Hit on the arm there. Ball's being stripped. Referee's got back right there. in front, offside. Leamington penalty, right in front of the post. So, you'd go for the three points, you'd have to. Uh, and this game particularly, you'd want to be taking the points on 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 for grabs. So yes, Leamington decided for the post. The pointer to the post, three points up for grabs. You finally got your um, what you wanted really in that first game, wasn't it? Danny, you finally got uh, someone to take the three. Yeah, Maybe they had that gentleman's agreement uh, early on. Contact, brotherhood. And a game like it, Legends match, it wouldn't surprise me actually, to be honest. Yeah, true, true. Tap and go. How about the Bouncy Castle still in the background? Still up? I'm actually quite surprised. Yeah, Normally, we're most things that come up, they actually fall down within about. Uh, well, we were a bit sheltered in the grand and I stuck my hand out the side earlier, and it was pretty a lot more windy than what it, what it feels here. Yeah, yeah. So. Another big crowd again. lemonton has gone on the board at three points to nil. At the end of the day, then it doesn't matter how well you play, it's um, who's in front at the end of the game, isn't it, on the scoreboard. So, um, you know, put the score on early yep. Yep. and um, build up pressure you yep. know, from the start. But um, already we've seen both teams willing to play with uh, ball in hand pretty yeah. at a good pace as yep. well. So, um, Temperature like this, um, be interesting to see how long that lasts, hopefully for the whole game. Yep. We say how tough it is. So the house have kicks off the limited. Great kick of the year. There's a ball, the ball's going out. Yes. And ball's been knocked down, referees go scrum on top of the ball, so uh, yeah, nobody decided they wanted that, uh, put the name on that ball there, so a uh, missed opportunity there by Leverton just to um, sort of, you know, retain position from the kickoff, work the way back out of the half and then um, that, uh, turn over down to Hotapu, so let's see if Hotapu can convert these into points uh, position. So, scrum down. Should have first scrum of the day, I think it might have been. I can't say that I've seen one, but uh, let's see how contested these are, evenly matched or not. The uh, good thing is for both teams is that there's not really one bulking player in that front row. Um, they're decent size, but no, no one that has um, yep. a weight advantage. Yep, no, exactly. So. Uh, Well, I hope I win that one. Dion Graham strikes in the middle. Oh! And ball had gone forward off Dion Berriman, knocked on by Lemons and hands in the ruck. It was multiple facets, and penalty now goes to Lemons. So, head of the ruck. Uh, just under the half of, uh, just under halfway. Take the line here. I expect the uh, kick of the over 45s is putting a bit more um, meters on on it than that first one. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Let me do got some uh, tall timber into their back. Uh, out there in the over 30 seat. Here we go. 
Humble time. First three balls. One catch. One off runners. Good solid beating to Kevin. Pushing out to Kevin. Two kicks down the pocket. No one home. I'm not too sure about that one. Seems like a bit of a hospital pass here by Tian, but uh, referee has gone the penalty there. Seems to be either coming through the side to clear out. Held on. Never just tap to go on this occasion. So come around the corner again. We've got to bring some more numbers out. So. Dion Merriman got the ball in hand. No tap on attack, some loose ball in the play. Oh, is he going to come back for something? Referee's got his arm out. He's got his arm out for a Carl's going wild. What the referee's going to do? No. Lay on. And Leamington secured that ball, takes it outside the 22. And we gained that one. Well done, Limited. <laughs> and Limited are fired up at the breakdown. Did a voice fly all over the place there, Dino? They're not, I'm not, they're not sure. giving in here. They're just. Not, not sure if anyone actually had the ball with Technically him. did well and played that ball, no one in the full back. <laughs> Referee's having a bit of a word to Ernie. Probably just about the discipline side of things, especially this uh, yeah, No, she's been pretty, uh, pretty even so far. Penalty their hands on the ruck. Hands on the ruck. Hamilton, penalty. Touch on the touch on. Josh Paul's got a bit of a right smile on his face as he signalled to remind everyone it was a penalty. He actually didn't think whack for the Leamington players and the head coming through to the ball. So. All in good fun. Line out this time, um, Dino. Yep. Leverton ball here. Their sole jumper could be in, and whether it's just going to go straight up into the middle. No, hang him up the front there. Nobody wants it. Leverton Shakura off the line out. Stay on the right. Stay on. The ball. Great tackle there straight into John o. Armstrong. Was well, lining up the defense one on one defenders. Lexington still retains position. Knight takes a bit of a dart on the blind. Makes another few meters. Turn the pick and go there by the big back of Lemington. Hard tackle back pedaling at the moment there. Longo Takabao has gone in and made that tackle. And being penalised and not rolling away. So, Ball's got the, the arm out again. There was sort of feeling going on from the Olympic yeah. halfback for that. And he ended up winning the argument. And he's kicked it. Whether it's going in for touch, not too sure. No. Ball's gone long! And into the Leamington half. And Leamington Levin, has kicked it uh, straight into the outer half. What's he going to be doing here? Isolated. Here comes the, uh, the cavalry of uh, Leamington. The blue and white numbers are there. Dion Merriman sticks it all up. Down the sidelines. Longo Tonkabao looking fit, but he's played. Hasn't even retired from the game by the looks of things. So. Uh, how's up really quick ball goes straight into the Limpton half here. 
Been isolated here a little bit. And could be a turnover. Things go well enough. I'm thinking it's a turnover. No, how tough until retains the ball. I'm still thinking it's a turnover. And it's a turnover. Tap and go. And going in for the corner. And great cover tackle. But he might have made it tough. Uh, the, 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 the body was certainly put on the line and had to be made that tackle. But um, yep. Yep. He, he's got, at least got back up to his feet, so it should be okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're thinking you're going to McDonald's, we're going out to the toilet, think twice. Got a game on here. Hotel before you'd want to be driving this one out, just to give a little bit of uh, parity there. There we go. Just take it out a little bit further in. Uh, so they're listening to us. Levington is trying to hold, trying to, uh, hold, on, hold on tight. Loose ball. Hatchap is retained and only just. Levington to put in a bit of a fight there. We've got a game on our hands at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Big long race down over the Levington half. Hatchap is retained and only just. Levington to put in a bit of a fight there. We've got a game on our hands at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Big long race down over the Levington half. Levington counter attacking here. Switching back inside, tackle defense. Threats being cleared out, Leamington retained the veteran. They've lost their decision maker in the contact area, so might be reverting back to the forwards and uh, trunk it up. Knock on. Long passage of play there, Demo. Well, Jack's here, I've been quite spread, probably along with my man all day. I mean, both sides are doing quite well with ball on hand and uh, seem to be knowing what they're doing at the moment, and most of the time at least. Uh, but, you know, as you said, don't go away. Don't go to McDonald's and gentlemen. get a drink. I, I would suggest uh, buckle up, put the seatbelt on and enjoy the rest of this match. 100%. Don't go anywhere, peeps. Ball's lost in the contact here. Levington's uh, recycled that ball, pick and go. Defense is strong there. Counter ruck in this. Vigorous but not successful. Leave like a knock on there by Blue. Ball's come back from the knock on. Ladies and gentlemen, and we're at half time. The women's health of the Livingston, Tug of War. Trophies up for grabs. Stay tuned. No uh, action. Just a reminder to those viewers out here this this day of the Battle of the Bridge isn't finished yet. We've still got the women's Tug of War, which is coming on at half time of this main match. It'll be a spectacular event. I mean, uh, who knows who's going to front up? Who knows what type of. Uh, a result is going to occur, but I tell you what, these ladies will be pulling that rope for their colours, their club. You know, they got a bit of money in it, so we're all looking forward to it. But yeah, and I um, understand also you've got a from an Olympian gold medalist um, a referee to referee that one. Yes, um, Dino. We have. Uh, we'll be lucky enough to get the service, I suppose, uh, of Sarah Ulmer, the cyclist. Uh, the Olympic cyclist, so she's coming on down to be the, uh, the referee. <laughs> and your whole type of wins the scrum. Dion Berryman, great pass here. Here we go, two on one over that. Bring it back in, great ball! Oh! Oh! Is that tackle high or not? Has he got his arm out, the ref? He's playing it, but his whole type is striking hard. Good defense here by Levington. Going back the same way again. Levington can roll away. The referee's got his arm out. And the referee's listened to Foz on the microphone. The referee listened to me. And not rolling away, so Hotup has got to take the trick. Yeah, he. 
And now it's going to go for the the uh, the points at the penalty. He decided to take the charge out. Um, Everton tried to clear it out with their own uh, in goal area. So charge out the referee had gone. Uh, what's he going for? Twenty drop out twenty two. Charge down went dead. So drop out twenty two. Okay, then we've got a quick two kickoff. Francis taking the ball out. Anyone here to support? He's still down. He's still in the middle of the legs. Up on the stick. Ball secure. Taking the ball into contact. How to protect the ball. Ball secure. Ball secure. And just tracing it through there. The runners off the ruck here. Pass it out. Big Bill Smith from there to support him. Here we go. Last two balls. Crazy. Dumped it there, pushing the ball left here. Kick it go. Just thinking a little bit of go forward ball. Some of them were white numbers. And referee's gone for the knock on, so getting a little bit messy around the ruck area. Just down on screen there, do you know the um, lovely venom left that on the bridge trophy on the screen at the moment? Yeah, um, once again another heavy trophy that you can't drink out of, uh, Bev. Uh, just on the right of it is the uh, netball trophy and uh, the left have got the shield, which is for the tug of war. So, got everything on display here today. Even, even the sun, even the weather, mate. We got that too. Yeah. That looks great. Charge too. You don't need to do too much without that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack it up, brought it straight out of my garage. Good on you. I'm glad someone organised the weather. So, Levinson screen just outside the 22. Stone screwing around. Miss cut out past back door. Two on, two on, uh, one on one. Levinson thought they had space out there. They got shut down pretty quickly. Out of the counter up. And uh, nine just went around the, uh, the short side, dabbed around, and. Uh, the gap wasn't big enough. Yeah, I think he probably needed another good old five metres to run, <laughs> run, in, run down that uh, sideline because he wasn't much of one there. So, uh, here we go. We got Stephen Kidd. We've got Stephen Kidd here who's just played the earlier match, Bev. Yeah, Stephen, if you're going to come along, you might as well get on to the commentary. Get some, uh, some words on the live stream here, then. Skitty, we're talking into the flash microphone. Uh, what's your thoughts so far, buddy? One hey, this is a far more structured and organised game than the one before. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed, I think, that Both teams look really good. No, oh, mate, this is class. This is great, isn't it? I mean, there'll be some sore bodies in your game. Skitty, that's for sure. Yeah, already there are a lot of players as well. Hey, apart from the result, you know, relevant from the result, what a great, what a game, what a great occasion, and uh, you know, what a spectacular to represent both clubs and then play for that new trophy, the Bull Shirt. Mate, fantastic, mate. Oh, that's a lot of the face, mate. Loved it. Yeah, every bit of it. Oh, every. Yeah, a lot of guys in both yeah, teams. Yeah, yeah. The boys will be still talking about it until they get all hours in the morning, Skitty. Yeah, yeah. We're not going anywhere tonight. So, mate, mate, tell us about this Leamington team here, um. Mate, they, they're looking sharp, ain't they? Yeah, they do. I, I think they look really organised. Uh, do you know any of them? Are they in the... the no, well, <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask that question. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a different generation, mate. So. Is there a bus from uh, Auckland? <laughs> <laughs> They look good though, I like their shirts. <laughs> they look good. They look like rugby players, they're built and look like yeah. they've been tra they're training. Uh, nah, no, no, it's been good rugby so far here. Dion Berryman still uh, the old man in the team from Otapu, but uh, knock that ball on there. Still playing pre rugby. Still playing pre rugby. I 
the, the cool thing about this game is that you know, there's, there's a whole lot of really good players out there. Yep. Who uh, are out there doing it for, for the right reasons. Eh? Like it's, yes. It's, 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 yeah, and, and, you know, a lot of them, if not most of them here, probably you know, good core played Premiership rugby. Um, they played even higher honours. Um, we saw Matty Phillips early on, and uh, but they've all come back and come back just to don the colours, you know, just to be part of the of the group. Once a year, look at the crowd. Hey, hey, hey! Still don't pass either. Do you need all three sixty-four days left? To the next one though? I think what do you mate? Bev, might, might need all the most next couple of days are going to be pretty tough for sure. Wouldn't change it though. A lot of fun. Lot of fun. Kind of makes me wish I was still playing but um, this is a bit safer. <laughs> Uh, the Peace Cup where uh, they went down to uh, Maniapoto, um, not sure what the score was but they lost that one, but uh, they, they, were, they seemed to be on the beers by the end earlier down there on the left, uh, down there on the left of the, uh, the Cambridge Blue Shirts. So Leverton, uh, hold on attack, uh, hold on attack, I mean that's something I just on there 22, but uh, make some big hits out here. Well, lads, I'll see you later, eh? We'll have a, we'll have a pointer. We'll, we'll, we'll get some fuzz, got the beer, Cal. Hey, commentator. Yeah. But I'm saying he wants one, two, but I'm looking for that. And the, uh, the, 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 uh, the local commentator on the ground is just trying to tell the referee how to ref it. Tell the players which way to run. It's all right, I think they've sucked them out, they know. Knock on offside. And you think it either thing. Intentional knockdown that one? Is it, is it uh, knock on then an um, offside position. So, uh, not to sure you think you still take those three points there, um, Ben? Uh, I'm amazed to see that school I do know. Being three miles to away, you thought something was going to try, but um, obviously not, so. Well, maybe it's coming up, but uh, we're just hoped up and decided to kick for the corner. Uh, and uh, I can say that we've got a line out drive coming on. Yeah, well, how to have so especially the Premier this side. Dino, when I live streamed a few games this season, they love those line out drives and yeah, yeah. Very hard to stop. Here we go, John Armstrong's gone into scrum half, and I can see it now happening. Oh, got a little bit messy. Here we go, pick it and go. Pick it and go again. And left, here we go, Roma Tucker Bell. Good to see old Lunga come in, the Tonglin representative down the 20s. Leventon and defending hard on their line. And a couple of passes out. Good deep from Leventon. Referee Bulls trying to get himself in a position to see what's uh, happening. Penalties coming out here. Not too sure what's happened here. Hands in the ruck, Dino. Hands in the ruck here. Undecided attack. Interesting call by the back, but they are back. And here we go, ready to play. Oh, ball been turned over. Eleven to ball, so. Here we go here. Yeah. Box kick wasn't the greatest of box kicks and uh, lost the ball in the contest. So Leventon is still back in the game again with possession turned over to them. 
Kettle to Leamington. And that's just taking off a little bit of pressure for them to get them outside of the danger zone. Uh, they've used the get out of jail free card a couple of times at the moment, yeah, Leamington. Yeah, uh, that, it's working for them. No, it is. I mean, uh, it's tough to defend in your own 22, but uh, could it shoot? I mean, Leamington done extremely well to uh, withstand that, that wave of red and white. And the current score still remains. And has been for a while, three points to nil. Line out to Limited. They've uh, kicked them down, which probably made about uh, 25 metres down the far touch line on the other side of the grandstand. Another line. Up there, yep, yep, they've got the sun's out. And good clear out by the blue and whites. Uh, big ball carry there by Leamington. Great carry. Miss tackle, can't afford those missed tackles for the stop. The nine again, having that dart. The nine takes out a few darts now and then, but uh, not really closing the gap. You know, it's, it just seems to be quite between the 22 and a half at the moment. It's still, well, Tabu still, on, still has the territory. No, the it just doesn't is, seem I mean, to be moving outside of those areas. The game seems to be you know, there's some fluidity, there's some good skills, some, um, there's some multiple phases. But come down to the breakout, breakout has seemed to be quite messy. Yeah. Yeah. It's either been knocked on, lost, turnover. Penalty. Penalty, so. Uh, it's not a decent game. Maybe they stuff. should just take away uh, rocks. It'd make uh, rugby a lot simpler game though, wouldn't it, if we yeah. took out rocks? Yeah. <laughs> the other over ball sport um, reckons that's the reason why we're better, but um, we disagree quite wholeheartedly. <laughs> Even if we do like the over ball sport. Yep. Yep. Rachel's gone through. Yeah. Up on attack inside the limit to 22. They need to capitalise on this now. Right, carried by Loma Takava. They were going to out well. They're not committing too many at the breakdown, Ben. And once again, as we said, just another mistake at the breakdown again. The numbers keep being committed um, varies from face to face almost out there. One minute it's uh, all the Fords diving in all over the place, and the next minute they're all hanging off waiting for the uh, one of runners oh, yeah, seem yeah. to be coming. Messi clearance from Leamington, but they've got the penalty off right. Yeah, half, uh, half over half back just around too quick there. Uh, um, I thought they might have timed it quite well, but Josh Bull, um, experienced referee as he is, he's the man on the spot as well, a lot closer than what we are. So uh, his decision's what goes, you know. Number 
Good cover to think some of them by Limitrum. Not so decided to go wide here. Big carry, big carry there by Tyler Tomlinson. Not in a scrum half now. Oh, there was an overlap there. By Limitrum. Quick water out tap, gonna go wide. Gonna get on its feet, not tackled yet. That they see then are very reminiscent of how the uh, Premier League final ended basically, um, except the play, you know, can end up with it rather than it being into the um, into touch, yep. almost in the same spot as well. <laughs> Billy Smith's not happy. No, it's not Billy Smith. It's not Billy Smith. Apologies, it's uh, Damien okay. We've got a bit of an injury on the far side there. I'm not too sure what's happened over there. But referee stop play. Okay. Once again, hopefully nothing too serious. So you know, those things we just don't want to see in the game of uh, any sport, to be honest. So hopefully whoever it is, um, we've just got more of a, just more of a broken nose than anything else, I suppose. Good chance here, Dino, to um, show the folks at home the uh, sideway crowd on the back, mate. Uh, one thing I do like about Memorial Park is how many cars can you put on their back? Yeah. Uh, plenty of boots open with uh, refreshments and food, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, 100%. Put them down. Set up, got the tent, and got their picked and baskets, got everything else there. Decent sized crowd as well in front of us here. And I uh, can't forget to. Dino yourself sitting in commentary there on screen. Oh, I've got Dino Malak. Well, it's quite a uh, decent crowd to stand here too. Welcome back into the dark side. Looks as though that player on the far side has been, um, has got to a sweep now. Might be a bit of yeah. a blood nose. Looks like he's got a bit of a bang nose there. Yeah. Got him, have that player come back. So back to resume his play again. So and the player sort of he's, um, at least he's walking off. He's not been carried off, so injury can't be that too bad. Just holding on to half of his face, so it could be just a nose. So line out. Right out, Limited Ball, about uh, the 10 metre mark, uh, just outside of halfway. Limited inside, Limited throw. Nice throw, hit the back. Great throw there, back of the line out. Short ball, Jay Cowley's out there again. Hold him up. Tired, tired for Tomlinson, eh? He's wearing both clubs. Well, he's only wearing blue and white, but he's played for both clubs. Holds up the red limit. Oh, oh, oh. Messy delivery there by uh, the nine. Referee's not caught in the knock on, so play on. Knock on there. Not one both 
playing the ball in front of the last player who touched it. It's an um, easy call there to Josh Ball referee to call that one offside. Well, he's indicated that it got stripped out of his hand. <coughs> stripped out instead of uh, knocked on. Brilliantly well played. Ball is kept in. Offload in the tackle. Jay Cowley keeps the ball alive. He Tyler Thompson's coming in with the uh, the shoulder, putting Hotep on the floor. Came again. Good work. Ty big Ty has made a, a bit of an impact since he's come on. Overlap here, here we go. Can hold up and catalyze on this. Running out a bit of pace, no. It's slow ball. Berriman again. And Terran is going to go left. Josh Ball's looking closely at the breakdown. It's been a messy, messy scenario at the breakdown today. Chip over the top. Oh, a great pick up there by the fullback of uh, Blue and White. Oh, he's got out the first tackle, he's made 10 yards. There you can see their ambitions is to, they want to have the go, so they're, they're running it. Still Leamington ball. Now tapping counter rucking. Not quite successful. Not staying on your feet. Not too sure what's happened there, but a penalty to Limited. Yeah, yeah not yeah, staying yeah, on your feet. Not feet. Well, I'll tell you, um, <coughs> one of a bit of a difference with Josh Bowles referring here, Daniel, is that he's letting play flow a lot better. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it hasn't been quite a stop start. As other games we've seen, but um, yeah, no, no, the got the, well. yeah, yeah, no, it's been good actually. He's refereed very, very well. So, um, just keep it going, get the momentum, keep them within the atmosphere and the purpose of the of the fixture too. Yeah, well, I was going to say it's a competitive game, but it's also a, mainly a festival sort of style thing, isn't it? Uh, sure. People have come and watch rugby today, so it's great to see people. Let's go. Let's go. Anybody else? Still supporting. Now he can. Close it. Close it. That's it on the feet. And they clear it. Everything stays strong. Hold the ball. Back to the left. Levitt's uh, regathered position again. So they've done well. They're in this half. Team decided to kick it. Turn the outside channel. Not sure why he wanted to do that, but they're in the whole top of the half. And, um, Possibly could have just kept it in hand. Yeah. Maybe the only thing is to settle play down, but there was no real need for it. Leamington were going forward, yeah, so they, why not keep going forward? Well, they had they they had the numbers. They had a bit of little, momentum was starting to pick up on their side. But uh, the first time they've been down how to is half for a while as well. So well, they are three points up. So great throw. Can't complain with that. Oh, referee's got the arm out. Our tap is tapped the goal. Referee missed it all. Yeah, about a metre off the mark is all. <laughs> Reason why he's called that one back. Josh Bull's just having a bit of a chat. Hasn't been chatting to too many people today, so he's, I think he's sort of got his uh, message across pretty clearly today.
Capitalised on that one mistake. Um, I, th I think they really got limited with the dummy. Well, how much did it sell for? Well, well, it, it, well, it was a good was, price on that one. It could either been taken out into touch and then converted and prevented another 20, 30 metres, but that one dummy enabled a continue on for another 30 metres. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see piece of the ball beat. The ball beating man, like uh, we're always told from a young age, dear, and that's what led to the uh, winning on the left hand side going round. Yeah, so, um, oh, great, great skills to keep everything alive and um, in terms of the, the handling skills. Looking at things, I think that is half time. And the conversion is over. The conversion makes still half time. Well, what a half. It's actually, it's actually been very, very tight. At uh, half time scored seven points to three. And now, here we go, we've got the tug of war. And this is where it all happens the Hotapu ladies versus the Leamington ladies for the tug of war. So uh, let's just see if we've got the bragging rights around town. The champion of champions of the rope. Who's got the muscle here, Dino? Well, the muscle and the bustle. Waiting for the limited ladies to uh, come on up. I, I'm uh, eager to wait to see whether they are. Please make your way to the field, in the middle of the field. And on three, one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, I'm just about to say, do you know there's no, um, you know, the Livingston numbers are struggling at the moment, but here they come. Here they come, here they come. All the girls are primed up. Looks like, uh, both teams have been having a few refreshments about an hour ago. So uh, anything can happen. Girls could be sliding all over the place. And I think it's more uh, Leverton uh, players have just been sort of pulled out of, pulled out of the crowd. Well, that's the greatest way to get a team together, isn't it? Go, you here, you here, and yes, um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm not too sure we uh, potentially were hoping to have Sarah Ohm, uh, uh, the Olympian. But uh, it looks like it's uh, 26 players versus 26. Our uh, politician from the White Park district is Upton. Our lady in the middle, welcome to the Olympian Sarah Omar, who will conduct a 2020 tug of war. No, she's not here, is she? She's not here. Right also, conduct in the middle. 
I'm not too sure of the numbers here. Maybe it's just a raffle ticket. This is going to be embarrassing. We want to hear everybody. How can you live to support your girls? Let's give them a car job. The uh, intensity on that rope is pretty good. Go. Here, go. here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know Sarah Oldman is in the middle. Are we ready? There she is. She's, she's she, she, she is in the middle there. Are so we ready? Sarah Oldman on the left. Louise Upton on the right. And there's the thing. I'm not too sure if it's a one off or it's one out of three or pissed out of nine. But it looks like uh, that's it, it's a result. One pull takes all. So, uh, Hotapu takes the uh, Tug of War trophy and another one, a shield. You can't drink out of that one either. Get the sides maybe for next season, um, uh, Dino. Maybe the committee needs to get together and go, you know? There might be a reason why they made these trophies you can't drink out of. I don't think they need any more. We're talking about the Ace Cup um, game that was played on earlier. Have you ever seen the state of that cup, Dino? And uh, congratulations to the Haltapu ladies. I'm going to wave that to my daughter, Jordan, she's in there. I'm not being biased, of course. Okay, so cool. And here we go, here they come, Peter, just a few words from Sarah on that. And there you go, it's Foz Hutterini, the uh, Grumpf compare, just having a few words with Louise Upton and Sarah Omna, the, uh, the Olympian. So uh, congratulations um, for those two for coming along and supporting the uh, Battle of Bridge. Great day, people, at the moment. Great event so far. And going to be a great night, no matter the results uh, moving forward. So, second half coming in. We've got a second half coming on the way. Just quickly, I've got a legend, a legend from Middleton, Carlson, Murray, and a half. How are you feeling? 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 How are uh, Foz Hitter when he's just down there doing a few interviews uh, around the crowd. We've got the legend from, the, uh, from Leverton, uh, Carlson, Woody Hunter. Great man, great player, and just a good, good, great leader within the club too. So uh, good to see him uh, putting those boots on today too. Okay, second half, we'll be on the way, we're going to kick off. Come up. What do you need? We're doing some live commentary. Oh shit, I'm not going to do that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Nor do we, we have no idea. <coughs> and here we go, with the current score at the moment, kicking off at 7.3, the main game of the day here in Cambridge. What a crowd. Welcome, welcome people to um, Sarah Ogna, the Olympian. Uh, have you been to a Battle of the Bridge before? Pardon? Have you been to a Battle of the Bridge before? No, no, this is basically the Olympic Games in Cambridge. This is awesome. The Olympic Games in Cambridge. What a beautiful day. What do you reckon? It's very cool. It's secretly, secretly chuffed that Hotel we just won the women's um, tug of war. We have seen so, that. Come on, so on that side of the bridge. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's all about being on that side of the bridge, isn't it? <laughs> I, I noticed, Sarah, that you're kind of giving Hotel a bit of an no, encouragement to you. Zero impartiality. Zero impartiality. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've had, um, we've had netball, tug of war, women's tennis tournament all day. Uh, the legends are the over 45s. Uh, they'll be hurting all week, all year. <laughs> oh, but, they, all week, yeah, really. uh, but they had they had a great day. So. Awesome. Um, 
No, but that's the young bucks of uh, the over 30. So, I mean, they're fine athletes. They've played the game before. They're reliving the dream, Sarah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm literally living the dream right now. It's brilliant. I love it. It's all the little kids playing around, playing the little rugby games, the little offshoot rugby games around the place. Oh, it's just outstanding, isn't it? It's very cool. My daughter's just had a plane rugby this year, and she just loves oh, it. It's, 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 it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful how the community can get behind this one-off rivalry, a friendly yeah. rivalry, you know. Leamington and Al Tappy have been going at it for years and years, yeah. but awesome. just to rekindle it has been fantastic. It's you know? brilliant, really cool. Nothing wrong with a rivalry. No, <laughs> so been going for? this has been going for nearly about the eighth year now. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, and it all just because of a couple of um, respected players when both clubs sort of passed away and acknowledged why don't we do something. Started with a very simple thing to where we are now. Awesome. What a, what a cool uh, reason to get it. And the family have been too. So. Yeah, brilliant. So here we go. Josh Ball, local uh, talent here. Refereeing the match. Outstanding. Played in, in great spirits, I, I do say. So, yeah, awesome. Um, Not a very wintry rugby day for it, though, mate. Oh, no. I mean... <laughs> I we're, we're, we're almost at daylight savings now, Sarah, tonight. We're at daylight. You know, it goes forward. So. Can't wait. I think everyone likes to play rugby in this weather anyway. <laughs> Any sport outside <laughs> no, no, that it. fact anyway. So, so Sarah, just quickly while you're here, anyway, just to, to the viewers, we've got 43,000 overseas logged into it. Like, I'm, I'm maybe 10, but... Um, <laughs> just, just tell our viewers, I mean, what have you been up to with yourself lately anyway? Um, oh, I've got, I've got a couple of kids here in Cambridge. Yep. I've been here for 20 years now. Um, heap, heaps of involvement in, in making Cambridge more bike friendly and easier nice. for kids to get around on bikes. And Certainly and shows too the, the likes of yourselves and others, especially having the velodrome here now. That's a really good catalyst. Bike paths, bike school, that sort of stuff. So that's my go. Oh, no, it's been a, Cambridge is just booming, isn't it? It's a little busy that it was when we arrived 20 years ago, but it's uh, no place. It's awesome. No, it's a lovely place. The sun is out. I mean, the ice cream man's about the corner. The bouncy castle, the second one's been punctured. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's success. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing, we're doing okay, you know. So we love that. We've got a bit of rugby on here at the moment, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so cool. But Sarah, so, no, what's the score? I'm not sure the score is. What was that? Sorry. What's the score? So the score's on there, seven three. Oh. We've upgraded our scoreboard. Got to cost us about a few hundred dollars on a crate of beer. <laughs> Uh, one of the hockey associates didn't want it, so we got it now. It's not quite like cycling, is it, Sarah? When you look, only look at the scoreboard at the end of the, end of the race. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love it. And I say, what's over the last eight years, who's, who's the favourite? Sort of a, a bit of a, a bit of two and three. Yeah, okay. You know, sort of about, about even, I suppose. Okay, um, awesome. And normally whoever hosts it. So this year, Hotep is hosted here, of course, in Memorial Park. Yep, Next I year, Lincoln can host it. Yeah, so the last year. That, so, yeah, the, normally it's at home of Barnes, so they'll be kicking in. Of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like no one wants to sort of give give an inch. There's, no, there's some friendliness, but there's some competitive yeah, stuff out there too. Awesome, awesome. And what happens after the game? Uh, you don't, well, <laughs> we've loaded up the coverage. We've got a chilly beer from Liquorland Park outside Brunton and we've got uh, we've got um, uh, Liquorland on dial one just in case so uh, it's actually stopped the DJ's ready to go so that's going to be um, oh, a long one we've, we've told the local police that would they be okay to sort of um, you know have the night off <laughs> don't worry about it it's, it's, it's my first bit of the bridge too Sarah and I've been told what happens on, you know it's like the old what happens on tour stays on tour so Ca Ca Cambridge is going to be quiet tonight because everyone's going to be over here so no crime oh, whatsoever but I Sarah, thank it. you for coming on. Uh, so just to share. Good, good to see you out here and be part man. of the event. Yeah. And uh, we wish you on the rest of your endeavours. Thank you very much. Hello, Tabu. Hello, Tabu. Thank you, guys. Cheers. And great, uh, great to see Sarah come on uh, just to, just to uh, share a few comments. Uh, about the rugby and her, and her daughter's playing the game already this year. So. I met I met Sarah a few uh, times in the past, and what, how you see her on TV and how you probably just notice what she is now. That's exactly who she is. Yeah. Um, very down to earth, very chatty. Um, so that was a great privilege to have her. She's off to her 50th, I think. So like she said, so um, yep. <coughs> no, thank you to Sarah Alma for um, sharing her insights into today. Into today. Yeah, no, no, hundred percent. So, um, and we've got a 
got a penalty to head to. There's a, uh, a minor uh, altercation. They, uh, they're just having a bit of a chat, sharing um, uh, their uh, postal address to send them a Christmas card each. Couldn't see it, sorry folks, because of the uh, pole on the way, so it's just a um, somebody kissing somebody else's fist, I think. So, referee Bulls having a chat to both captains. Both captains can call in. A little bit of conversation going to go on here. Maybe this is what. Not too sure what happened there, but. Um, I think again it was just that off the ball, a little bit of niggle. Yeah. That, that happens in most games. Something was happening out there anyway, so it looked good. I think just, Josh is saying, look, we've already had one card, one, one yellow for something silly. No, no one wants it. Card. If you lost one, come and see me. And a good sportsmanship shown by both captains acknowledging yep. Josh has said, shaking his hand, and let's carry on. A green two big piece of card that was picked up out on the bounce. Oh, and the referee's just moving the uh, crowd control. People are getting excited on here. Taking everyone back. The last thing we want is um, someone off the field getting involved in that sort of stuff. Um, so we call it a little bit of puff in the dance. Yeah, bring, back, bring back puff. Buck in the biff. Buck so in the biff. Hotup is kicking for touch. And no, he's kicking one goal. He just kicked it. Uh, uh, yep, he'll be kicking himself on that one. So uh, that's okay. Billy Smith's got him sorted out. Leamington, uh, they'll have to kick this one long and hard. And got a little bit of breeze behind their backs at the moment. So just to get them outside of the zone. Oh, he wants to leave it. He wants to leave a lot of things. Hey, hard defense tackle there by Limiton. Oh, great hand. John Armstrong is going. Oh. Hey, John Armstrong is going to pull hard. He's going forward into the contact area. Bill Smith's going to hold it. Billy Smith can't hold it. How tap is seven points to three. Tyre for Tomlinson taking it into contact. He's still plodding along. Bit of a wayward kick there to the fullback. Is he going to run it, step it, or kick? Realise I've got no pace. No, I can't kick either. Oh! And a big low roar. By the Lemon supporters, the ball carrier sort of bumped off one of the hot tempered players. Leverton's got numbers out wide. The Pyramid needs to chase out. Turnover. No, ball referee Josh Ball's coming back for the penalty. Yeah, it was a um, really good turnover there, Dino, um, from Haltepu, but uh, Josh playing advantage for, uh, I think, what was the most side? Penalty to Leamington. Just wants to tap it, run. No, forward, he won't kick it. Try to Armstrong's uh, trying to pluck him one by one off the field. Leamington down, holding on to position here. Great tackle there, Leamington hard on the line, the referee's got a thumb up. Pick and go, he's going to go all the way. Holding him up. Bit of line speed there, Frenchie's shot out on the first. Numbers round the corner, pulling him out, Leamington's got numbers out wide. Hats have a court shot. And he's gone. No. 
Going around the corner. Penalty, Josh Balls on the back of him. Yeah, the um, Livington had a couple of dinks there, Dino, and it and um, it was great defence by Hautapu to hold them out, but uh, Livington still with the penalty, so still got some chances here. And he's running it. He's going for the line. Jay Carley's down a little bit. Hard on the line. The cut up is defending really hard. So the line is dry. And it's five points in. Five points to Limington. Under the post with the kick to come. The blue and white wave was coming. It had to come at some stage. Well, you want to call her? Maybe him and the other fella. Well, uh, And the kick is successful, so the score takes it out. Levington take the lead back again at eight points to seven. That's I think it's ten seven. Oh, yeah, ten seven. My, my, my apologies. The kick was up. Updated. No <laughs> doubt we updated. Ten points to seven. And Levington lead by three. So uh, I'm not too sure. Could that be twelve minutes left on the clock? Twelve points, uh, twelve, uh, twelve minutes left on the clock. Uh, uh, Be close to it. Nice high kick off there to Leamington. Leamington retained it again. Going to knock on some smaller mistakes here. Frenchie wants to take it into contact. Referee's got his arm out. Blue's offside. Yeah, the first advantage. Stunt. I think he's doing the first advantage, but that's almost worthy of a penalty. Uh, <laughs> taking up the ball at a rut speed 45 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, let's just come back to it. He's going to play the penalty. Shades has gone for the penalty. Oh, he's kicked the ball away from him. Not too sure. Interesting call there by the referee. So. He's kicked it away. How tempered this time can they uh, convert the advantage in two points? So, how tempered now uh, about 15 metres out from the Leamington try line on the far side of the pitch. What a great crowd, people. Great crowd here down at the Memorial Park here in Cambridge. Also, Dino, a shout out to all those watching online as well that can't make it in person. Um, hey, good, no matter what part of the world they're at, they're logging in at different times of the world somewhere. Yep. Come in, my friend. Look at that. With his pull to that. No problem. And be, I'd be amazed too, Dino, if there wasn't at least one person somewhere in the crowd here actually watching the live stream as well. Because um, I have been in games where people tell me they're watching, especially if the ball goes in the far corner of where they are. Oh, they can't they, see. They can't see, so they watch the live stream, um, even yep. though it's a little bit delayed, yep, yep. Um, so they can see what's going on. Fair enough. And there's the, uh, the local uh, police on the far side. You can see them in their bright, bright green, yellow vests over there. So uh, uh, they're keeping themselves busy by watching the game of footy. Wonder who they'll be supporting. Maybe they might need to be uh, well, They've got neutral. neutral today, haven't they? Uh, well, I suppose there's a... Never more than a close, so possibly Leamington if they 
Uh, well, they are wearing blue, you know, but then again, uh, I mean, I'm sure they were uh, had to be very uh, politically uh, <laughs> neutral. They'd have to be fairly neutral, I would say. So, but good to see them down here anyway, supporting the uh, the Battle of the Bridge. They went to feed into the scrum. Not sure what happened to that line out. I was too busy looking somewhere else. I was not gone in there. Not gone. No. And the ball has been miscued. Long cut out pass. What's Berkey going to do? Berkey's trying to have a bit of a go. He probably thought that the body's not fast enough. Got an overlap here, John Armstrong. Oh, not too sure about that. Cool, yep, Josh Wolf made the tackle and then uh, uh, got up with it. Didn't release. Oh, it's up the ball. Turn over. Might have been on his feet as well. But he, uh, no, might have been on his feet. Strong, but he did so Get a bit messy here this game at the moment. It's uh, tossing and turning between uh, both teams at the breakdown. A few turnovers, knock on, and here we go. Lewington's in the uh, out upper half. Retaining position, pick and go by their forwards. Big Matty, uh, Matty Phillips is uh, trying to hold him up. Getting some tired bodies here. Great team from And it's coming up from the side. The, the pressure there from Livington, Dino, is just immense. And um, Hautobe's defence had to go yep, at yep. some point. Um, and, and great offloading. Um, some offloading there that Sonny Bill Williams would be proud of, to be honest. Yeah, they um, capitalised well. They uh, didn't see anyone in the back pocket, sort of kicked them behind. Uh, got into the space. So, uh, Livington, well worthy of those uh, five points to get him a first down of that territory. And he capitalised on lots of pressure by them. Now we've got a fairly long uh, kick coming from five metres out from touch. That one's still around too, Dino, so it won't make this conversion very easy. Leamington actually haven't uh, converted any of these shots at goal today. And uh, that's going to stay the same, same way. 15 points to 7. Leamington take the lead. In our last quarter, 20 to go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was on. And teams looking good. Both teams are looking good. We've got uh, current score 15 points to 7. Kick off, Jim. Nice hit. not too sure if anybody wanted that kick at all. Leamington's got the ball in hand. Stuck inside their half. Big four yeah. runners off the, off the rock. Those club. Go put it to the boot. Turn the channel. Thank you, guys. 
Kick Lama and Young Frenchie at nine, uh, scooped it up. Not too sure where he's going, but he's got out of a. Oh, shoulders coming in. Yeah, I'm not sure how many arms are used to that one. He's getting quite physical at the breakdown here. Something's gonna happen. His body's flying and all over the place. Hotapu, just over the um, outside of the 10 meter and limit and half. There's a little bit of wind up there, it's quite a bit of wind up there. Hotapu kicking for line. And line out around about the 22 uh, meter mark. So uh, last time they were down in that situation here, line out, a uh, bit of a knock on. Um, so uh, they get themselves back in the game, they need to, uh, they need to score fairly quickly. Get on with this game goes too down over the more tired these bodies going to be and the harder it is for line outs to be won cleanly. So uh um, they've sacked it. They're picking go. Leamington are looking uh very good side, you know, they played, uh, I'm understanding, could be wrong, but I'm understanding from a few of my Leverton friends that uh, most of this team are playing um, regularly in one of the uh, competitions, so, um, you know, it's good that they get some good uh, game fitness through this uh, tournament, well, through the season to uh, uh, put things together here, so they're looking sharp anyway, Leverton, um, most of them just have to sort of uh, try and just make those old heads work and get the... Uh, the, the body also uh, connected as well, so that's how we're trying to run it. They're probably trying to play a little bit of uh, catch up rugby, uh, not the best situation you want to be in. And pick them, goes, not releasing, not releasing, not releasing. Josh Ball is uh, playing on. Here we go, here. Yeah. Going again. Nice clear out the ruck. Knocked down by Blue. And Josh Ball's gone for the penalty. Not for sure what uh, Otapu would do here. Have to be quite mindful that they're going to tap and go. And ball security. Now they've getting a bit of a bit of momentum in the place now. Hold up over the 22. And penalty to her uh, to Leamington. Hurrying on. Quite interesting there, Dino. Not too many were going forward, no, no, still going forward. Bennington's defence though was coming across at the right time, the tackles were made and in the end their defence came out on top on that occasion. <coughs> Probably also the reason why with uh, about 15 minutes left on the clock, they're up by 8 currently. Yep. Just Confidence is growing and uh, uh, big hard big point camp. Let me stick at it. There's a punch for that. Bennington, Bennington. That's a pretty good take of the crowd there, Dino. Man in the red shirt. He's taking that cleanly. Well, there were some spot prizes. He'd be the winner of that one. And he can secure off the top. Push out the tackle. Keep staying strong. Having some big hit, big clash. Penalty is going the wrong, going um, in favour of Leamington there. So, uh, for ruck court, no hands. And how 
what's happening is kick for touch. Just on the uh, 20, 10 meter line of uh, Hotel for Half. Substitutes being made now again. Halfway between halfway and three. Well, the subs are not rolling on and off compared as much compared to the first game. That's for sure, Ben. Yeah, still, still a bit of gas in that one in, in those legs. Yeah, well, yeah, the previous game you nearly rolled on a whole team, on and off, and this one here is uh, very minimal, one at a time. Leamington Nines kept on hold of the ball. Nice carry by the blue and whites. Good carry, pick and, play, pick and go at the base of the run. Going out 10, hit the midfield. Well, the midfield. Who's out there's a group of forwards out there, but. Miss them all together. They've the the probably gone back a few metres, but they've still got ball in hand. Up and there's a turnover. Turnover ball. Yeah, the jack tackle. Jack Get up, got in there pretty quick to turn that one over. All secure, okay. And they've got it at the back. We'll shoot it up. And Leamington. Now Josh Bulls are in the arm up on a penalty again. That's every player what it quite That's legally the did over uh, you know, just didn't remain on his feet. That was yeah. the only issue. It's a um, fair turnover, but you can't just dive in the front like that with the ball. Thirteen minutes left on the clock. And penalty gone to limited right on the halfway mark. And a good nudge there. Puts him right on by the twenty-two in the hotel for halfway with the line out throw to the blue and white. to taking their time just using their clock. Eight point ball game, <coughs> they wouldn't mind scoring another one, but um, you know, how to have a go back to the defence, especially when they want to line out like that. Tap and go from that penalty. So they want to get out there and play uh, some fast rugby. John Armstrong's given it his best, giving it a good crack. Chapman players are getting a little bit frustrated here. Penalty's gone back to uh, uh, limited for a uh, player off off his feet. Uh, limited down in the heart, second um, heart chapter 22 is the line out to go. Uh, they're just walking into the line out, um, just taking their time, and so they should with eight points up. 
just to sort of con control the game. Right. 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 Tapped off the top right. there. Right. Nice kick it out, take it around the blind side and take it into the contact. Pick it up by Remington. Now the picking goes, coming clear. It's coming out of the inside. Tyler picks the ball, makes a charge. Big Tyler Thompson's picking go again. Let's pick Nope, that fell up. Hit short ball, oh, Tyler Bartholomew's oh, 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 in right there. That probably wasn't the right channel to go. Who's that up? Turn over. Yeah, knock on. Referee's uh, hesitated on that one, or just delayed the call, but uh, great hit by Jono Armstrong coming off uh, off his man and uh, surprising him from the blind. Yeah, there's been a few. <laughs> um, that was probably the better one of this game, Dino. Um, that spot tackle certainly lined him up, and I don't think Jono really knew that uh, the player was coming in there. No, uh, and there he is, uh, big Matty Phillips uh, coming off the field. He's probably said, I've... Uh, Done my dash for the day. Okay, make some changes. The tiger's on the ground. He's on the street. That arm's big fella. That's a wee injury down there. In the back down to Ty for Tomlinson. No, he's back on again. No, said he's got he's got this, so he's back in back in the game again. Tom and Nelson uh, there, Dino. Unfortunately, uh, Wakato have come second in that game, 34-17 against Tasman. 34-17 loss. Mm. It's a bit of a score. Uh, uh, they were looking good leading up into the, uh, this uh, weekend's match against Tasman. Yeah. 31 minutes gone, team. Time to go. Here we go. Here we go, go on the blind side. The onside six, pushes the ball out. Cookie carries, goes back in. Doesn't ball is loose. Got the break and the uh, ball is loose but throw into no one. And turnover still to Hotapu. Don't know how strong it loves carrying it with that one hand. Frenchie's in. Got tackled. Turn over which way he's going to go. Stays in. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, knock on. Lose it. Lose advantage. Get a knock on. Yellow card. Referee doesn't want to go for the uh, the knock on, the knockdown by Blue, but the play continues. Still in there. I think you might have missed that one. That's okay. So, uh, Hotop is still in the uh, 22. Substitutes here by... I have a phone, uh, the hand the room at the same time, so look on YouTube, see how much we can get for it. Black phone and a black cover. Got a little bit of text message, I can't read, but Kirsten Point. Anybody with text message to Kirsten Point. Black phone, black cover. Come to the control tower. So, uh, Leamington throw, uh, they're about the uh, 18 meter mark out. Ball's been tapped down, cleaned up there. Comes in the back, makes a charge. Referee's on the whistle. We're going to get hurt again. Let's go. Quick charge. Can I turn it over? What can I do? Hurt that thing. Uh, Picking go. Trying to push for the line there. Go again. Not sure who he's. Uh, Billy Spindler. No. David O'Kane taking the ball into contact on the open. Can somebody get through the line? We need a little bit more structure there. Let's go. Longo Tucker Vales out there with him. And makes it down. It's close to the line, five minutes out. Yeah, they are, just than Yard by yard, closer That's to the line. Daniel can go for it. Daniel can to the line. Punches those legs. A metre out of the time. Speed break. Yeah, okay. oh, and, uh, I thought you were a referee. He's kicked it away. He wants to have a return.
Come on, guys, get him in for a break. Let him have a word for Typer. Don't worry, let him have a word for And they'll be aiming for the, uh, the middle of the goalposts. Trying to close that deficit with only uh, the time coming up on the clock soon, with six minutes to go. So, uh, big John Armstrong looks like he's been lined up for this, I think. Now, tap, tap and go. Armstrong's catch. Armstrong being tackled. Great tackle by Leamington. Nice move, they're going to push it wide. The number 10. Big Lumo Taka Taka takes it in. Good passing. Heavy defence on Leamington. Ball slowed up. Good ball to uh, well. wrong way. Pretty good ball to Dion Berum and uh, got a man on man with Ty for Tomlinson in the midfield there, but Hotel is still regaining position, still plugging away. Good defense by Leverton, hand of the ruck, no, it's decided not to. Find the nine, the referee's got his arm out, and not no. Yeah, slight interference on the half, but in that one. Leverton goes to Combo, Leverton's got the ball. And he's uh, pulled him back again. Uh, not like the first game, uh, the referee pulled out the oh, yellow for the yellow uh, for the offside. So here we go, straight in again. Gibbs, gives his brother a little two. Oh, 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 Giving it a go. They're Off having the a go. What are they trying to do here? Goes in. Goes up. He goes in. He's closing. And he's give it up. open. No. Forwards. White line Back fever. What can they do here? And it's a turnover. Back to the team. Back to the team. Back to the team. Back to the team. White line fever. And Leverton has turned the ball over. They've defended well. Have the throw on bodies. Can they? Can I rock it? Throw more bodies. Oh, yeah. 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 as well. So, not too sure what's happening. So, the 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 so Dion Berryman wants uh, to go quickly. And they've decided to go for a scrum. Interesting call. Yeah, I was supposed to go, go on a set pace, see Dino. Um, well, you're in the middle of the field as well, so you can go either way quite easily. I suppose interesting call is they've waited for uh, yeah, so some yeah, minutes yeah, to, yeah, to do it. Yeah, 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 go, yeah, yeah, go yeah, for the last 70 something minutes. That maybe that hasn't worked for the last 70 something minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe now you pull out the big tricks. Yeah, 100%. So, uh. Okay, maybe three. But it is, um. The, the, the time is definitely on Leamington's side. It's an eight point ball game with a couple of minutes left here. Um. Okay. Memorial Park. Okay, so they've got to score and, um, convert yeah. quick. Or do you even go for conversion? Well, I mean. Because, you know. It, Unconverted tries only, you know, makes it a three-point ball game, and a try, you know, you don't muck around with the conversion. Well, you just have to convert. You got to, you got to score, don't you? First. Yeah, you definitely do have to score before you worry about anything else. It's uh, the pleasure of being able to sit on the sideline and talk about it. But right, hold up the ball, big shot there. Trying to pitch it on midfield. That's it, Perry. That's it, Perry. And Berem is taking into contact. Got numbers out midfield, but the forwards decided they're going to go pick and go again. I'm not too sure. They need to get close to the goalpost. Let's go close to goal to them at the moment. Pick and go. Need to be going closer to the goal line. So, uh, how to ball in position uh, here. Hard on the check. Uh, it's about a metre out. Time pretty out. much on the on clock out. here. That one got some hard defence here. Gone out again. They go on the ball. The ball is up. Leamington are defending very well, very well, extremely well here. Security ball 
Lucky to get away with that one there. Oh, he comes over. That's way he rolls in, rolls in, he gets over the line, and he gives him a try. Right on the I'm line here. Lemon did a DN up hard here. Not to sure if Hotuk who have found the right uh, the the footy here. They've got the numbers in the midfield. That's going. For the punch it in. He's going to show for a hard runner. Clears. Push it out. And push it. Going out wide. He's, wide. He's going to be isolated. He's not sure if he's got the pace. Hatep has still got ball in hand. And just appears. Referee goes again. Referee's gone and not releasing. Hatep with ball penalty. Time is really up to the referee at the moment here. Jono Armstrong is trying to give it a bit of a crack to get over the line. There we go. Love loss out there at the moment. Force taken in hard by Al Tepper. Lemon can stay strong on defense. And it goes. And Al Tepper is taking it to the line again. Five minutes out. Lemon to defending, defending strongly today. Scrap tackle okay. around but got him down to the ground. Al Tepper just need to get turn that over. Al Tepper. Al Tepper. They clear. Press the lap. Knock him down. Knocked knock down by Once Blue. Once again, Referee, what's he going to do with it? I think he's going to say the new rule. Convert a try with eight points. He's got the card. No, he's not bringing out the card. He's taking a long time. Even better. Then we try with nine points. Here they go, to the line. That's a big deal. Last plays, I suppose. Great defense. Can't play the nine. But Josh Ball's on the roll side here. And to the wall here, here we go. He made the corner. Good defense by Lemonton. He drives hard up. Lemonton swing two. And. That's it. We're still holding on position, but it's probably taking a long time to get there. Up. This is quite and turn over. Penalty to Leamington. There we go, folks. There we go. All they need to do is kick it out, and that should be time on the clock to Leamington. Penalty, Leamington. 42 minutes up. Referee's time. Don't go far. We've got another four more minutes. And here we go. And, and Leamington over 30 is won the Battle of the Bridge for 2020. A very, fairly hard fought match, I do say. It was a very good game out there, Dino, but in the end, uh, Leamington just played the better team, I think, and wanted it just a little bit more than what Altepu did. Uh, 